All right, so I guess that we're back at it with this game, huh? Bro, since we're in a vacation right now, why couldn't we just relax for a little bit, you know? Enjoy the sunshine, the view, the city. Why do we always need to play video games wherever we go? Because this video game is in theme with our vacation. Don't you see? This beautiful Eiffel Tower. Now, I wanted to do something with it, but since I don't want to be wanted by Interpol, I said that we should do it in a game, not real life, even though Obama keeps his radio to call for a drone strike wherever he goes. I still doubt that we will get away with bombing the Eiffel Tower in real life. So I said, why not to do it in a game? I hope that you two realize the fact that the French government knows that we are right now visiting their country, and most probably whatever device we keep with us is now getting listened to and controlled by them. So even though we do this in a game, we might get in trouble regardless. I don't think that it's a good idea. Let's watch a movie or something else, bro. I don't want to end up in a French jail cell and have a baguette stuck up my ass by the inmates for blowing up their tower in a virtual game. If we end up in a French jail cell, just know if anything that we're going to rule that bitch. And the French jail cells are probably filled with people people that illegally attended PSG football matches and that have those curled up mustaches that look like my pubes. Ew, what the, what is wrong with you, bro? And all right, we get it. Can you at least bomb something now? What are you even doing? You're wasting our time. You just spray painted the Eiffel Tower so far that does nothing but maybe get you a fine if you're about it, then show it. Bomb this thing and turn it into dust. Let's go. And I got to admit, I don't know what they put me in this Coca-Cola flavored ice cream, but this shit done gave me infinite what? energy. That drone was spectacular. I love it. And wait, uh, Joe, what did you tell them you want your flavor to be? What do you mean? The regular Coke flavored ice cream. Dang, that was loud. Well, that explains it then, Biden. You know, I still don't understand how did they manage to build this tower in the 1800s. That must have been a crazy accomplishment by them at that time. Too bad that almost 200 years later, the United States presidents came to destroy it because why not, man? I love it. And Barack, stop being a little girl and don't worry about what these governmental thugs will do if they find out what are we doing in this game. If anything, let them move a finger. And they're out of NATO, oh Mao. You're acting like you still have that power. Macron is a cool guy, not gonna lie. He let me steal some of his taxpayers' money a couple of months ago, which essentially isn't even stealing if he knew about it and let me, but I'm talking about his people. Only if they knew how dirty he is and how he lets everybody put their hands in his people's pockets, I couldn't imagine doing the same. You couldn't imagine, ain't that right? You piece of lying shit. Just wait until November. There isn't much left until then. The country is full of your incompetency. Now, Obama, if I gave you the control of the keyboard, it doesn't mean that you have to use the airstrike mode as soon as you touch it. Oh boy. What, bro? Leave me alone. I could have easily done this in real life. Just thank me that I'm relieving all of my anger just in this stupid game. And hello, do physics not exist in this game? Oh shit, uh... I'm just staring at Obama and I gotta confess that I'm kind of impressed, like I can't compare, com comprehend that he really has this addiction for bombs. I'm so glad that we're protected by the FBI and that the French government won't find out what are we doing in the heart of Paris right by the Eiffel Tower. And last night was crazy. I've never ate five ice creams at once. My mouth was stuffed. Hey yo, pause Joe, and oh my, this is symphony to my ears, just how these bombs go. Bomb, 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 bomb. Yeah, Biden and I've never thought that I would see you with so many ice creams in your mouth. And honestly, I never want to see that part of you ever again. I would much rather just have Obama. Be Obama, like he is now. Barack is so simple, yet so complicated, I would definitely have him integrated in a mental asylum by the time he's 70. He ain't built like me. And why are you screaming? What's wrong with you? Can't you just talk normally? If you keep screaming in my ear, I will end up bombing the Eiffel Tower uneven, and I don't know if you want that. I'm sorry, Obama. I don't know what got to me. Hey, Joe, that ice cream really kicks, bro. I'm not a big fan of ice creams in general, but that one, bro. I know, right? Yo, and how is this shit standing with no base? The physics in this game really ain't it. Only if somehow the gravity centrifugal force has been propagated on the side that still has its eccentric gravitational pull towards yes, the- Yes, I got it. It's falling. Yes, well, I have to admit, the build quality is top notch considering that it was built in 1887. Usually buildings made out of steel give up after some cluster bombs, but this one, man, this one is different. I'm wondering if it's the same in real life. Well, I guess only one way to find out, right? Ha, huh, only one way. I thought our target was set on the Eiffel Tower, not on the civilian residencies. Wow, Obama, you never cease to amaze me and come on, really? The football field, Mbappe isn't going to like that. Tell Mbappe that he can come and take a taste of this big black. Oh, wait, I forgot. We assassinated that prick. Ha ha. What a douchey buddy thought he can talk smack without meeting the Obama Minator. Wait. Joe, are you still mad about what Donald did? I've had enough Obama Minator, let's end this. I hope you know that you are truly evil, Donald John Trump. Why the hell would you assassinate him in cold blood? And not even that my idol too. I swear I will seek revenge for him one day, you bastard. You are lucky that I hear damn sirens outside or else I would have shot you down already, you stupid ass feral. Now that you brought it up, 
Yeah, yes, I still am. And I didn't forget the fact that I said that I would take revenge for it one day. Well, I guess I already had one up on you, Trump, ever since I rigged the elections, but still. And Barack, what are you doing, you idiot? All right, that was enough, Donald. Get this fool out of here. He's having a little bit too much fun at the moment. He just started nuking everything. Let's play something else. This game is done. Wait, shut up. I'm not the only one hearing that, right? Bro, calm down. It's probably just a paramedic siren going around here. Just enjoy these nukes. Come on, boom, ha ha. Yo, I love it. I could literally do this every day. All right, maybe except on Sundays, since I have to spend some time with Michelle. But man, if this game is on the phone, that would relieve some of the anxiety I have every Sunday since Michelle gives me the weekly beating on that day of the week. What the, um, boys, what? What happened? What happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. The police found us. They had access to our PC and probably heard everything we talked about. We, we are cooked. Bro, what is that guy outside yapping about? Oh my, what did I tell you? Look, they done pulled out the helicopters on us. We must be on the most wanted list on the Interpol. I told you guys that they tapped our PC. I told you that they are listening to everything that we say. It isn't like we aren't doing the exact same thing with other political people that step foot in our country. Now what? Tell me, Donald, tell me your fabulous plan on how will we manage to escape the Interpol and get back safely to America. Well, uh, yeah, I got to give that to you. You did think in advance. But given the fact that you were the one who bombed the Eiffel Tower in that game and stated with a loud voice that you would do the same in real life, I can safely blame you entirely for what is happening right now. But don't worry, boys. As always, Donald has a plan. And the plan is that we're heading right back to the Air Force One plane we came here with, and we're flying it back to safety in the United States. Back to safety, you say, huh? Sorry to break it to you, buddy, but I don't know if you realize how this works. This is the Interpol. They work alongside the FBI, so therefore we're wanted by the FBI as well. So we can go back to America, but guess what? The cops will be there as well, ready to arrest us. So either way, we're done for Brody. Stupid ass ideas, couldn't we have stuck to eating baguettes and Coke flavored ice creams? And what do you want to do, Biden? Just sit here and surrender? You already know that this ain't an option. And don't worry about the cops that are in our country. I have a plan if we manage to fly past the ocean and get there. For now, just trust me, I know what I'm doing. We crossed the ocean and we are now entering American space. And guess what? Helicopters are still following us. Do you still know what you are doing, Trump? Or did you finally come to reality and realize that you in fact have no clue? At this point, just land the plane and let's surrender. We can easily get out of jail with a few phone calls. Or can't we just tell them that it was all a joke? Why are they taking so seriously that game? Let's just say that it was some type of a prank of some kind and that we're sorry that we virtually bombed their Eiffel Tower. They should know that everything Obama says is a lie, just like when he was the presidents and he lied his ass out every time he was broadcasted. All right, both of you done went nuts. I'm the single one that manages to keep his composure while being stressed. The plan still goes on and it's working perfectly. I don't even want to escape the police while flying the plane. Now watch out. I'm going to pull some stunt moves between these buildings. Ah, what? Are you crazy? What are you trying to do? Nah, bro. I feel like at this point you're just making fun of us and you're not taking the circumstances seriously. This isn't a joke, Trump. And you're also flying dangerously low. Just go ahead and turn back to the airport to land the plane. I've had enough. I'd much rather be in a jail cell than to be dead. And Obama, I agree with Trump. It's all your fault, you piece of shit. I won't forget this. It's OK, Joe. It's OK, calm down. Well, I guess that you guys will find out what my plan was this whole time, you see. I didn't want to have you guys know it entirely since you might have got scared and jumped out of the plane too soon. But yeah, just trust me with this one. Trump, what are you doing? I, I don't, I don't get it. How did we manage to get out of that without a scratch? And how did nobody see us? Well, we are from now on presumably dead. There is everywhere on the news that the president has crashed the presidential plane into the dam. But those are some good questions, Biden. I'm going to give you that. My questions are how the, how did that plane go through the dam? And how, I mean, what, what now? Now. Now we're going to lay low for the next couple of months as we figure a way out to tell the public that this was a military training event and that we are in fact alive and well, but have been captivated by the Taliban's and that's the reason that we haven't been talking to the public anymore. And to answer to some of your questions, one will be, I don't fully know, and the other that I knew where that dam had its weak point, so I dived nose deep through it, but my plan was genius. You guys can't deny that. I mean, it worked. So y'all really don't have anything to complain about. We don't have anything to complain about? Oh yeah, right. It's not like I got a concussion and passed out three times already. And that I'm still in shock looking at the plane that is halfway through a dam, asking myself, how did I survive that? 
And also, how did we go from a beautiful morning in the city of Paris visiting it to this in a matter of hours? All right, if you put it like this, then, yeah, yo, you guys are thinking too much of it. Just come on, follow me. We need to find a way to get out of here. I'm wondering what Melania cooked while I was gone. Oh, wait. And where should we go? We can't call the Secret Service or an Uber or to go anywhere near any populated areas if you want to keep the narrative that we are. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I always appreciated the spontaneous part of your plans, Trump. You never cease to amaze me with it. So the headlines on the news must be crazy. The United States presidents went from wanting to bomb the Eiffel Tower to fleeing France to striking a dam to presumably be dead to now beating up the cops that are on the scene. Listen, if I was a regular civilian watching the news, I would move out of this country as soon as possible, bro. Wait, where are you going, Donald? What are you doing? You messed up our cover. Well, I ain't the one who shot them, but I reminded myself that I left the flash drive with all the information we stole from the French government in that plane. It was somewhere in a suitcase, I think. It has to be down there amongst the debris. Ah, oh, crap. How did I forget about that? Well, I guess there's only one way to get it now. Ah!